Hello everyone, Michael here, and in this fourth beveling video, I'll demonstrate how to take the normal beveling process a step further using spheres alongside cylinders. This video will show you how to bevel blocks using spheres with a manual way. If you're looking for a fast, simple, and customizable way to bevel, you might be interested in my plugin, Beveler, that is linked to in the description. But the process in this video accomplishes the same task. Now let's get into the beveling process. To begin with, make sure that you turn off Move Tool Collisions by navigating to the Model tab and unchecking the box there. Also navigate to View and open the Explorer and Properties widgets. These widgets are useful for editing the part properties that we'll be changing in a moment. Find the part that you would like to add rounded corners to and make three copies of it. On Windows, you can use Ctrl plus D to duplicate objects, and I would assume that it would be Command plus D on macOS. If you don't have a keyboard, you can also right click and select Duplicate. I recommend naming each one of them with numbers in consecutive order so that you'll be able to identify them in a moment when we modify their sizes. After you have cloned three parts, we're going to reduce each part size in two of the three dimensions in all possible combinations. The amount that we're going to reduce on the part is the same as the corner size that you want to create. So if you wanted your corner size to be two studs, the reduction in each side will be two studs. The reduction amount is that wide because when we add cylinder and sphere bevels, the bevels will be visible halfway. Because the diameter of the bevels is two studs, while the amount reduced on each side is one. I'm going to be using a corner size of one stud, but feel free to adapt this to your preferred corner size. Each part will be reduced in two of the three dimensions for all possible combinations. So for the first part, we can subtract our corner size from the X dimension and Z dimension. With our second part, we can subtract the corner size in the Y and Z dimensions. On our third part, subtracting the X and Z dimensions will fulfill all possible reduction combinations. You can pick and choose which dimension pairs for each part. It doesn't matter as long as you cover all available combinations. The final result will simulate the same as if you added negate parts to each edge and will result in half of your corner size reduced on each edge of the part. Now we need to add cylinders and spheres to fill in the sections. I would recommend going to Model and setting your Move Tool Grid size to half of your corner width if you have trouble aligning the cylinders and spheres in place. Add cylinders to each edge for a total of 12 cylinders. We will end up with 4 cylinders in each dimension on the coordinate plane. After adding all the cylinders, add a sphere to each corner for a total of 8 spheres. You now have a sphere bevel part that you can optionally union together. It's a complex process, but it's achievable with a little practice. If you need any assistance, leave a comment and I'll see if I can assist you further. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.